Winspiration, the way to the essential. On UK Health Radio, Winspiration brings wisdom and information for an extraordinary future. Together, we can shape the world we want to live in. So let's get real and create the idea. Be extraordinary. Welcome to another episode of Winspiration Radio, and we are talking about wisdom and information for an extraordinary future. And sometimes people say, ah, isn't it too much extraordinary future? Is this really possible? But as we live on the level of duality, we know where light is, uh, it's light and dark and uh, hot and cold. So where is a topic, where is a problem must be the solution. And uh, how do we create this, this extraordinary future? How do we do this? What do we need to think? And how should we be? And today, I have really um, the honor for a special guest, who I think, super for brain picking, how to create a better extraordinary future. And I have three pages here. Um, I think they need the whole session to explain what a fantastic person we have here today. Um, it's Professor Dr. Annabel Ternes, and she is considered one of the leading figures in sustainability and digitization. They call her one of the visionaries of the healthcare system and as a, one of the outstanding managers and entrepreneurs from all over Germany. She is a Managing Director of the SRH Institute for Sustainability Management and Professor for Social Sustainability and Communication Management. Wow, and has a ma made her name as a futurologist, keynote speaker, author, and founder of a lot of sustainable startups. So let's have just this. Um, otherwise, uh, I use the whole time explaining what she all did and what she is really great for. And so thank you for coming. I really feel uh, blessed and honored that you're here. Share something of your wisdom, how we can create uh, a better future. And um, so welcome. And maybe um, you give, if you want to add something about, about <laughs> <laughs> but also just so there's a question. Uh, what do you think when we look at the the, the nations the st state or companies and the individual what can we do to really live a better life and i know we talk about weq intelligence and so on so let's learn from you <laughs> thank you very much for the introduction for introducing me and welcoming me i'm Wolfgang. i'm very happy to be here and um sharing some of my experience but also of my thoughts here um with all of you uh first of all um i think um i mean uh, when I was uh, when when I grew up, I grew up in a family um, which has long roots and where it was normal that you feel as a part of the family, and um, you had always this we feeling. Um, mm -hmm. I, uh, I always had duties in this family I had to fulfill because of my position in the family, because of my gender, and 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 so. Um, um, later on, I figured out that I, uh, the topic media vision. Uh, so this is a time uh, um, in the 11th century where people um, grew up from uh, from feeling like a piece of a family, piece of a mass, piece of a branch of whatever, where you have your position and can't get out. And as a child, it was super interesting for me um, how um, outer and external factors changed that and gave these people suddenly the idea that they could feel as a me or as an I and mm -hmm. uh, as an individual and um, that this I could be uh, relevant um, and this feeling could be relevant for the community again. So um, I read about that as a child and I thought, hmm, couldn't this be also something for me? And um, back to your question, 
I think it's important uh, we are um, in the day in, in our daily life in this digital world um, we are hunger for a uh, feeling as a me but we are all on the other hand hunger and hungry for feeling connected and uh, first of all to get a kind of meaning we um, often focus first of all externally on being uh, being a part of here or there and uh, we want to be part of the most important and we want to be part of the most safety but by um being so uh in the outer world and being so little in yourself we forget about ourselves and um, that gives us the often the feeling that we are empty and the mm. most important way is first of all to feel yourself again and um be um be unified um with yourself feel the contact uh, with the ground and uh know who and what you are and what your potentials are and therefore mm -hmm. Uh, future skills um we keep planet we this is uh all something uh, where i really stand behind because it means at first um that uh to be there um for the world or with the world with the others it's um it's first of all super important to be with you and uh and feel yourself otherwise um Uh, you spread out so much also from the energy you have uh, somewhere and uh, can't be resilient with that. Yeah, this sounds very great. And it sounds uh, you were lucky growing up in a family uh, where you had this uh, support of and, and the feeling of we, but also could, could develop your me or what you call essence or purpose. And we do a lot of essence work and inspiration um, and uh, Not not so many kids uh, are really in this position growing up in a family uh, where they're really supported as, like I say, I was born as an apple, but unfortunately in a parent family, and they tried to make a good parent out of me. Um, so I, I started to realize, okay, I'm not okay, because everybody around me says parent, parent, parent is good. Yeah, so... And uh, kids who coming on planet Earth, uh, they're still connected uh, with the invisible world. And, and then we teach them to uh, forget everything and, and uh, yeah, disconnect them so that they get, that they get lost. Um, and uh, how, for example, is uh, so from your point of view possible that we might well, create a different uh, education? Because the parents not always are bad they don't know better yeah i completely agree with you i think the uh, adults word um is the word of people who have forgot about themselves often and are too much right true too much analysis um and um also using the analytics for um feeling that or for knowing or having mm. an idea emotions because they forgot about that there uh, so much uh, went through so many systems like the school system is where it's not about um, your potential where it's not about your individual strength where it's not about getting the best out of you where it's about um, getting uniformed um, how to put yourself in a frame Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because, I mean, and the answer is super easy, but uh, the answer is an answer nobody wants to hear. Or hopefully <laughs> yeah. more and more yeah. people are, would like to hear. Yeah. The answer is ask the kids. And I'm like very much um, a philosopher and um, educator, a teacher and medical doctor, Janusz Koshak, um, you know, mm -hmm. this, uh, um, uh, Dr. Goldsmith, um, who um, was a Polish Jewish um, guys super supportive especially for the youth without parents living in the Vasha Vasha ghetto uh, during the second world war who um, went into debt uh, with the kids um, uh, because he wanted to be together with them uh, until uh, the whole whole life and he said what should kill our children they have so much wisdom in themselves what they say and um, to be honest I'm a mother of uh, four and a half years old and I've learned so much during these times and we are a bit forget about that we forget about our uh, that what we need and um, later on we try to consume uh, food we try to smoke we try to take drugs we try to um take to um take um things um to using this as a kind of um yeah uh, consuming instead of finding this in ourselves we try to find it in the world around us yeah that, that is a really a big uh, what to say 
<coughs> topic and then um, uh, for me, it's an interesting question, the connection now, when you talk about sustainability or the startups, um, people who are not really connected uh, or have this kind of childhood, how can they think in sustainability? Because it's a, they are more in a kind of fear always uh, or uh, survival mood. Um, mm -hmm. So is uh, sustainability only possible with with people we, we force, the government is forcing us, or do we need to change something? Because then if you look at natives, um, people, they take care, they live with nature. We forgot that we belong to nature. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely or, or are the right. totally yeah. different people who start with the startups? Yeah, you're absolutely right. And this is a super important point you mentioned. Um, I mean, when we look at the European Union, we think that sustainability is something really bad and uh, and uh, something the companies have to uh, have to uh, be frightened against, um, uh, which is full of regulations. You must and you are not uh, you are not allowed to. And, and, and. and I remember 10 years ago when I took over the International Institute for Sustainability Management, um, I was asked from several people who said, Annabelle, what are you doing there? You're taking over an institute with such a name. Who's interested in sustainability? This is a pain of, in the ass. You're, <laughs> what are you doing? Nobody will be interested to working together with you. This is mm -hmm. not something which is interesting to the people. And at that time I said, it might be, but it's super important for us, for the world and for our future. So I take over this um, this role and um, I really like sustainability. Um, but yes, you're right. Um, this idea of forcing, of pushing, of um, punishing, I don't like that. And I don't like either the idea that sustainability and sustainable behavior means that we um, have to say no to so many things and that we miss so many things. I mean, um, why is it not, not possible that, for example, eating the right things could be exactly a luxury? I mean, isn't it luxury and isn't it great um, if I know what my body wants and if I can eat exactly that what he needs and that I, um, I for example, eat no red meat, um, eat no um, gluten-free, uh, where we um, uh, stop eating sugar. Isn't this a great luxury that I first know about what is good for my body and that I'm following that and do something good for him? I mean, maybe that means eating less. Maybe that means... Um, eating uh, less of food which is uh, which is poisoning my, my body but this is good for me in the end yeah. and also I mean talking for example about um, about automatism I mean we like so much comfort but isn't it great if I can do a workout for my body um, by going shopping instead of just um, ordering something and wasting energy by cars which have to do the transport, by packages which has to be um, um, produced, by um, all these things which has to be done without the necessity um, and which are wasting, uh, wasting energy and not following the circular economy rules. So um, for me, uh, sustainability is a kind of uh, luxury in my daily life. Uh, the course, yeah. uh, I we, live we come to, like I also said, we didn't have a financial crisis and we don't really have an energy crisis. In the end, we just have a kind of value crisis. What is it what we really value? Like you said, the companies are stressed um, because we at the moment think the most important thing is money. Um, and like we like to say, it's a purpose before profit. And I, um, I take the analogy, I need blood for my body. Otherwise, I can't live. But yeah. I think the meaning of life is not collecting blood. Yeah. So it's just really, okay, how much do I need? But what is the real meaning of life? So what is the really meaning? And I think being happy, and what you said, is... Um, more important uh, to understand how we, we live together and if you go to the top five the regrets of the dying they they regret what they didn't do and all this and not living their true self mm -hmm. and that is a main crisis and could you say sustainability in this case is for me like i went just thinking about family i i, I didn't grow up in a good family so i, I had to stress i couldn't trust in this way the uh, everyday different emotions um that sustainability is also something like accountability. 
I would say yes, because um, sustainability um, often is seen just in these columns, you know, uh, ecological, mm -hmm. economical, social. But in the end, that's not true. Sustainability is, is, is a way of life. I understand it that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. That means um, sustainability means a resource orientation, means um, that you're in a coordination of your non outer um, beauty, that um, yet that you do what you say and that you're in harmony with yourself and uh, with the uh, with environment around you. So mm -hmm. sustainability is for me a kind of philosophy. And um, if you fulfill that, then it means that um, that it fulfill also an inner outer health, um, that it means resilience, that it mm -hmm. means also the, uh, the choose of what kind of job is good for you. Uh, it means um, everything in the end. And um, sustainability should give us also the trust we might not have currently. It should um, give us, show us the way it should be a pathfinder for us to. Um, for me, uh, it could be everything because sustainability shows me how things work. And um, I get any, I get every answer just with sustainability. It shows me that I have to um, look in a, in a holistic way. It should, uh, it shows me um, that just in a collaborative acting. Uh, I find the answers. It shows me, on the other hand, that um, agile, agile um, thinking is very important because if we just uh, on uh, on a long lasting uh, way, um, it is only working if we have the agile approach in addition with this. Because otherwise, you don't see uh, what's upcoming and can't act carefully. Um, so there is so much uh, which is which is in this word and which and coming with this word that it's. Uh, I think it could be something. Yeah, which is enough to fulfill, uh, to, to 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 manage to manage everything if we just follow that, and for that we don't need all these rules, but we need these rules. If somebody is not engaged, if somebody doesn't understand, if somebody is not motivated, and here, I mean, um, you often talk so much about soft skills in the uh, in uh, talking about sustainability shows us that soft skills is not enough. We also need to know what is behind. We need to know what climate change means. Uh, we need to know about this um, marriage cake. What uh, so what the UN uh, United Sustainability Goals, the SDGs, means for the economy. We need to know also what the planet, uh, the nine planetary. Um, goals means for us and where we have to look at. If we don't know that, we don't understand why climate protection is so important or what that means for us. We think that driving electric cars enough where we don't where we forget about circle economy, where we forget mm -hmm. about batteries are pro um, produced, what to do with the old batteries and 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 or where the energy comes from um, I, uh, I use with my e-car. So uh, Sustainability should drive us to a completely different kind of uh, kind of approach and thinking and acting. Um, what what you mentioned or what I feel is like also um, we just uh, just simply linear thinking. Uh, I'm not seeing the complexity of the world and everything. What we do affects something, yeah. And so so um, and if I look at like like chess. Uh, the master is not thinking just in one next move. They think up to 16 different possibilities. And that's, I guess, is what you say we are missing today in, in leaders, in companies or politics. They just in the survival mood themselves or how to get the stocks up or whatever. And then they're wondering what will happen. Eh? Exactly, and you're talking about health. So, um, um, but but if you talk about fear and feeling frightened and pushing, that's not health. And this is what yeah. we call uh, a holistic approach. If you want a holistic approach, you have to think more in the idea of gamification. You have to think more in the idea of playing, of playful trying. Of um, we talk we talk about uh, mistake culture. Mistake culture is also kind of playing, of trying, of. Um, yeah. I mean, this is how children get into the world and how they they feel themselves this is how they get a self-awareness and you know, uh, what where i'm good where i'm not good where i yes. can be 
then better? What is not my turn? Mm -hmm. um, finding uh, what is my character, my personality. Um, and therefore, this is super, super important. Um, also, humor, bringing more humor yeah. into it. Yeah. And, um, we are so serious about these things. I mean, can you win with being serious better than winning with humor? Hmm. No, better, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Even better with humor, the course, then your blood. Now you talked about blood, so yeah. your blood is getting better through your body. When you're when you're laughing, when you're good, when you're positive, no, you you feel better, more vital. You live longer. Um, so why not um, using the sustainability as a kind of uh, you know, solving uh, life uh, life saver and um, and word saver and this can be fun. I mean, this is our only. I think it's the only way of having fun. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And, but that is a thing, a tricky thing um, in thinking and, and and feeling in sustainability. But on the other hand, what I just felt, uh, what you are saying is, enjoy uncertainty um, yeah. because, like the kids. They don't know. They don't think what is the next day. They live out the moment and handle what's coming. And exactly. like that, that Guru is saying, the adults have a big problem. They have a memory. So they try to get everything in their memory. So is it, what is it, a conflict? Or how does it fit together, sustainability and the love of uncertainty? Uh, that's a great question. Um, mm. I mean, we, we as a human, we always want to have this uh, knowing um, what's, what's upcoming. And interestingly, if we are talking about weather, the Germans, I know, <laughs> like, it more, <laughs> like it more, if you say it's rainy tomorrow, then it's sunny tomorrow. That's interesting, the statistics. Um, if you're talking about the death, it's different. If you would say, uh, tell them, you can choose between you're, you won't die or you die, they would like to hear, I'm not dying. Um, mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. final consequence is a different thing. But we don't want to talk about the time until until then. So how much time do we have left? And what we what should we do with the time which is left and um, we, have to, no, we have to live? So, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a tricky question, I think. Um, yeah, well, it's anyway a tricky, like we said, of if, uh, people die or not die. It's so interesting that they somehow have the fear of death. And if you really ask deeper, they say, oh, no, they're not really the fear of death. They have the fear of suffering and, and, and whatever. And the crazy yeah. thing is they have so much more fear to live. Exactly. And that's what I wanted to mention. Exactly. You bring it exactly to the point. So, I mean, we have the time now to live and yes. we have a great, great chance because we can always and in every second decide for the good yes. or for the bad or for nothing. And this yes. is always a decision we can make every moment. I can decide what I drink. Mm -hmm. I can decide um, what I eat. I can decide where I sit or with whom I talk. So this is most of the decisions I make over the day, I have in my hand. And um, th this is normally super great because it means that we can decide to live every second, a second most sustainable for us, for the next generation, for the world. And we can make a difference. And this is the next thing. Um, I yeah. think, uh, I mean, you said, how does it come together, this uh, sustainable, sustainable way uh, with... Um, for and example, so hmm? with uncertainty, hmm. yes, and uncertainty should make us um, brave enough to understand that sustainability is a chance. It's not. It's it's not a decision. It, it, yeah, it's a chance for for decision, <laughs> but um, um, certain is just the death. Yeah, yeah uncertainty means also we can do better. Exactly, uncertainty. Yeah. Means certainty exactly. means nothing is changing really. Yeah. Exactly. Not, means not many, many like chances. Yeah. Exactly. It means many chances. It yeah. means that we have um, the life in our hand a bit, mm -hmm. a bit. and uh, that we have so many opportunities. Some people also ask me in the past, how does sustainability goes to uh, sustainability goes together with digitization? Mm -hmm. Digitization is termination. Um, mm -hmm. Digitization is uh, always quicker, always quicker. Digitization is wasting energy. 
digitization is also uncertainty because you never know who's reading what, uh, what's uh, what's um, happening with your data. Um, but I mean, I think we have to use the chances uh, we're given. And yeah. uh, and I and think also it's, it's the wrong question uh, <laughs> because that's what what we not learned, and it's, it's the main problem I see that we are trained in school to have the right answer. And that's why when we said we could decide, most people can't decide anymore because when they said what they think, it was not welcome in school. Like even mathematics, I had the right result, but the teacher said, no, not this way. It should be this way. Um, and if you train for years to have the right answer, it's so tough. And we don't have really uh, in the Western world the culture of teaching in school good questions. Exactly. And that is and, important. And we are trained to feeling guilty. We are yes. trained to talk yeah, about yeah. feeling guilty and feeling mm -hmm. guilty and feeling guilty. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about pragmatic solutions. I want to talk about opportunities. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the learnings I get on yes. Uh, yes. of something uh, which happened, but not stuck yeah. in the middle of sticking and sticking and sticking. But we mm -hmm. uh, we as uh, the Germans have learned the course of the, um, the situation with the second war one afterwards, that this feeling guilty is something which is super important, but it's yes. not something which helps us getting into life, getting into uh, fulfillness, yeah. getting seeing chances. And then there is a difference between feeling guilty and taking responsibility. Yes. Taking responsibility means that we are living in the now and in the future. We are learning yeah. from the past. Mm -hmm. um, Guilty means that we stick there. And often I have the feeling that we're sticking there. And sticking yeah. there is much more fearful and being frightened than being in, what you said, uncertainty. Because uncertainty is the chances of what's upcoming. And there is so much awaiting for us. That yes. is great. Yes. Yeah, and guilt is uh, and like fears and fantasies. No? I believe in the past if I had yeah. different uh, and and everything. So we retain. And in, in Germany, where there was the book... Uh, the Untertan, like the underdog or whatever, I think yes. it's typical. And for me as a German also, it's, it's really strange that we have an international word, German angst. Yeah? So that is, okay, when we know this with the education system, um, what is your idea and what is uh, the teaching the future skills? So I know you're aligned with the VQ Institute. What should we should the right word is uh, do different them with the kids uh, that that they grow up with a better backup. Um, I mean, I had a bad role model. I was at a school I really hate. I worked as I was at a board school where most of the teachers were nuns, and um, I mean, most of these teachers were nice people. But um, the combination of girls with nuns and um, and the must of visiting the schools against my will was something mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. hate. So I never wanted yeah. to have anything to do with the question you asked. You just asked me. But yeah. when <laughs> we also there, if I just assume, like <laughs> church is also responsible for a lot of guilt feelings. Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. And by yeah. the way, for example, you know that I played the piano and I was a concert pianist um, and the, when I was a, um, was a child. And uh, then I went, when I missed schools, uh, school, uh, school lessons and I talked with the nuns and they said, you don't need to visit this school. You can go somewhere else. If you want to play the piano, go somewhere else. So it was not uh, that they uh, said, hey, great, we support yeah. this. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it was okay if you want to be individual, do it somewhere else. Uh, so for me, school should be something which is uh, an invitation where you want to go every day, where yes. you have chances that you have opportunities to grow, where you find your potential, yes. where you can <clears throat> see your strength, where you yes. can cooperate with others, where you can build something. Build the and brain, that, yes. Exactly. Yeah. And where, where there's somebody who believes in you. Because mm -hmm. you know from the experiment with Rosenthal and Jacobson from the past that uh, believing in you can make a, open the world. Wherever, on yeah. the other hand, saying, oh, if you don't get this, I don't believe in you. I, I'm not trusting you. You can do what you want. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> at yeah. all. Um, that is dropping down the people. And mm -hmm. I mean, I also by my, by my by my small kid i mean um, my kid is four but uh he visited one keter where there was no support and after a few weeks uh, coming back it was like 
I saw a really sad, uh, not talking that much kid um, where I couldn't talk that much with it. And there was no inspiration getting out of this kid anymore. And then I changed um, the place and uh, he came home full of inspiration and motivation and glancing eyes. Like, Mommy, I have so many ideas I would like to talk to you about. So yeah. such a difference. And mm -hmm. I mean, if we have the chance to have this kids inspired, then we know what 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 world can wait for the, uh, for these these people. And we know how um, on the other hand, school can be downgrading, downsizing, oh, yeah. aggressive, degrading slaves for a system. Okay. Yeah. Exactly being aggressive against yourself or others, then you don't wonder, then you're not surprised what's happening outside and the world because there are many, many, uh, many grown up kids which are just living this um, feeling aggressive. So we need an, a school which is an invitation. We need a school like, for example, Margaret Rasfeld built it so, so great. I really like what she does, really, really like and support what she does with the Evangelic, um, Evangelische Schule in Berlin, what she started there. And if you talk to the former uh, school students um, who are sorting out the teacher, who play a role uh, about the content, who have this kind of Freiarbeit where um, the people can, uh, the young people can search what they want to do, mm -hmm. combine the idea of design mm -hmm. thinking where you search materials, where you start mm. in a playful way. But on the other hand, where you get really responsibility for really important things, just as, for example, um, building a project um, like planting trees in your in your street, uh, taking care of a plastic-free uh, week, um, for example. Mm -hmm. So I think it's um, the, the young um, the young people they grow with also the responsibility and the trust you have in in them. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's just a, a kind of a hundred and eighty degree different attention we need at the moment like we always say i have a house i have a car i have kids yeah? so we have them and not the responsibility to support them and school system is how we fit them in our old world and if we would understand or would see it different that we are responsible to help them to build their world we would have a totally different uh, education system. And uh, I don't know if you know, there's André Stern, a, a, a French guy. He wrote a book, I Never Went to School. So his parents allowed him not to go to school. And if there's one person on planet Earth, you don't need to be afraid about his future, it's his, this guy, because he didn't went to school. <laughs> um, yeah, because school trains you for whatever. And Sadhguru... Yeah. Uh, when his wife l left him, uh, passed away, um, his daughter was four years. And everybody wanted to teach her something. And he said, no, 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 don't tell her anything. Let her develop what she wants. Yeah. And and, and, then, and in the natives also, you, you with 13, the boys in the woods or whatever, um, make their own experience. And then they were treated like an adult. Huh? Yes. Well, then one and more, and then, then I, I, I don't know. Like you said, something over the kids and in a small way. The, the body is small, but there comes maybe a kind of adult soul. It's just yeah. in a small body. How yes. can we have the idea to treat her like stupid, stupid, stupid? And like you said, you learn so much from the kids. So, and as you just mentioned in the, the, the talk we had before, that you were close to be responsible for the education in Berlin, so in the government, um, what would you have done different? And do you really believe you had a chance to do something different? <laughs> yes, um, hopefully, um, yes. Um, I think it's a, it's a first a people business. So you have to bring the people together and have, you have to see first um, what the people's goals are. Sometimes I think um, that nothing is moving has often to do with um, feeling comfortable with the current situation, but also, as you said, feeling frightened about a change. So um, first of all, um, I would have been uh, sitting together with uh, deputies from all parts and um, tried to get the status quo, tried to get the ideas behind the fears um, as also the wishes and the dreams and mm -hmm. then and then build a picture because i think um, for me it's super important to have a picture you trust and or you see 
and one picture you all follow up. If you have all different pictures, or some people have even no picture, how can they follow something? We are not living in an abstract world, and abstract words are not giving us perspective. For a perspective, we need really these, these pictures. Um, that's a kind of storytelling, right? We, mm -hmm. uh, we often talk about, we need to give these um, emotions. So I will build this picture first together with them, mm -hmm. knowing that is our goal and then try to make really small small pieces because sure. i've learned that it's the baby steps which are successful it's not the big steps yeah. um sometimes i wish um that it's different and i often tried to do the big steps then understanding afterwards that you can fail completely when the steps are too big and the shoes are too big yes. and it's much yeah. much better to really go some step back um look turn around check once again and then see where the mistakes are and often it's a, these mistakes are in yourself because um, if you're, if uh, I mean, it's a difference between a vision and dreams and, um, and manipulating yourself. And I think it's important that you are uh, that you can trust yourself also with, uh, by being uh, in a truth with yourself, and that means also that you know that these uh, uncomfortable baby steps are the most yeah. important. And you have to get through a lot of patience. Yeah, <laughs> it's always the same. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's always everything. the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is interesting. It just comes up. Uh, Two thousand six, Inspiration Day. Um, uh, I had a speaker, Erna Riegel, and she wrote a book. School can be successful, and <laughs> she became in 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 the German town Wiesbaden the head of a school, and wanted to change things. And the, the, all the other teachers for one year were dressed in black when they had meetings and not saying anything. She needed one year that they opened up. And then they created a school, incredible. The kids cleaned the school. They saved the money to different things. Incredible what kind of results came out of it. Uh, so interesting fine. book. Um, uh, in German, the title is, I don't know if it's in English, in German, it's Schule kann gelingen. Um, so very interesting. But and that is what I always see. Um, and it's not only a German topic, I think. There is one example that shows it works. Well, we ignore it. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> we, we start doing this. Like for me, uh, using Semmelweis, uh, Mr. Semmelweis, uh, nearly 200 years ago said we should wash hands uh, and the death rate went down over 10%. Mm, no, we put him in whatever kind of <laughs> charge and and let more people die. Uh, so why are we so crazy? Why are we so crazy? Why are we so much provoking our self systems um, without the need and capacity to? Yeah, good question. Um, I Sustainability think. Sustainability in the wrong way. Yeah, we're sabotaging um, ourselves, right? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I mean, Sometimes I'm asking this also by myself. I mean, when it's coming, for example, about my health last um, last year, end of last year, and I always, if somebody asks me, I say, don't take any, any antibiotic if it's not mm -hmm. necessary. Mm -hmm. So um, last year I had a couple of a bunch of keynote speeches and my voice ran, dropped down and I thought, mm -hmm. oh, damn it, okay, how can I do this? So I went to your doctor and he said, it's a solution, easy solution. Just take antibioticum. In three days, you can do everything again. You don't need to miss anything out. You don't need to lay down in bed. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine. And I just wanted to believe that. In my innerest, I knew that this was a lie. But I followed his uh, suggestion. And I'm still suffering from red. I still have um, pain in my body and my stomach mm -hmm. from that. From November last year. So mm -hmm. this should be a lesson for me. And normally, I'm with so many things, I'm really, um, I, I try to follow that, be really, uh, be really clever and nice to myself. But mm -hmm. uh, this is also sabotaging myself because we sometimes uh, like to think and believe and the way could be really, really easy. I would like to believe in that. Yes. And, uh, Authority and I mean, also, huh? doctor says it. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. We like to give responsibility to others. Yeah. That uh, we think that if they decide for us, then this is done. And this is a, sh I mean, this is a shame. This, this yes. is missing a chance. Yes. And some, some just, uh, some just uh, get this idea that this was a chance when they're lying on the bed dying. Uh, yeah. And see that they would have had a chance to decide uh, how life goes and, um, and didn't, um, Yeah, say, okay, he was responsible. I told him to. Um, I couldn't do this and that. And yeah, but there's, there's a big difference um, be handing over the responsibility or just collecting information and then make the own decision. Or, uh, that is, the, is exactly. And the easy answer to your question is it's energy, which, yes. is, the, which is the answer. Everything just in the universe is energy and information in it, or let's say it's about exactly. the intention. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Because if we yes. haven't advanced the system, then we think yes. giving yeah. responsibility to somebody other saves energy for us. Yeah. In the end, we lose the whole. Yes. And yeah. we, lose, we lose the driver's seat, which is, um, yes. is a kind of, um, yeah, the middle of us. Yeah, driver's seat was a topic. And uh, I know you wanted also to share something about the club of Budapest. And how is this all connected to each other because you are involved there yeah the club of budapest um i think it's a great chance for me to be the president in, for germany now and uh, we're working there together very close together with peter spiegel who has a long history in um the driver and uh, driver's seat for the club of budapest as an international role um for me um the club of budapest is a huge, huge chance to bring people together um under the idea of consciousness under the idea of future combined with also a kind of spirituality because um, we uh, lost trust in uh, some um, trust givers in the past, just as uh, the church, just as uh, the law, just as the medicine. And um, we need this, and we need this trusted advisors in a kind of, and spirituality shows us that we have this trusted advisor in ourselves. Yeah, so um, the Club of Budapest is uh, for me a chance to have an institution, um, an initiative, a movement with the history of um, great people, great mind people, just as Yunus or um, Dalai Lama, just as um, Mikhail Gorbachev um, or Evan Daslo, who um, already worked so much on this idea and drove the idea so much further. I mean, of course, it's a big footsteps, yes. Um, it's important now to fill this with new ideas and um, also give the next generation a chance to, um, to, to take a role there. And um, this is one of our goals we want to drive further. We want to give uh, Club of Budapest a chance to um, lift up and give a voice to the next generation with its great, uh, great ideas, uh, with innovation ideas. Um, there are so many... Yeah, and how, uh, how plan to do this or what are the ideas to how mm -hmm. to lift them up how to reach them um, get them to understand it and then lift them up We involve some great-minded people, um, German-based, but uh, living uh, abroad, um, but also here in Germany. Uh, so we have a small but very powerful team currently. With this, we are planning not just um, offers and formats, uh, just as um, commissions, um, uh, expert groups, um, event formats, but also awards. We have two awards in planning um, where the um, United Nations um, groups are involved, uh, where we have have um, one focus uh, on oceans and ocean saving and uh, one focus on food, food security, um, but also food not understood just as a kind of uh, non, um, mm -hmm. being not hungry, but even more um, feeling yourself with something which can change also your way of thinking and acting. So these are the two awards we start with and, and where we want a change and um, consciousness, where we want to uh, give attention um, to, to this uh, to this chances we see here by the next generation acting, but not just alone only, um, also in combination with the more senior people, of course, because um, 
I don't see um, that's a kind of uh, we have to give up, um, we, we, we have to go away. It's just the time for the next generation. It must be uh, diversity. Diversity is the key. Diversity makes us strong and yeah. gives us the power to change yeah. because, yeah. Um, and to move on um, and uh, to move on in a very powerful way because we learn from the past for the now and for the future, as we said. Huh? So mm -hmm. this is part of the Club of Budapest. We want to um, also work um, and um, and do things from Berlin, of course, but also uh, we want to involve Northern Westphalia very strong with an UNESCO Zeche Zollverein, which is a great, great symbol, I think, for how you can uh, move um, a symbol of, uh, um, of, of a federal state um, from the past to the future with great activities. Um, Can we explain the uh, the listener what is uh, Zeche Zollverein? So it was in, in Nord, uh, North Rhine Westphalia. Um, at the former times, they were uh, whatever, uh, bringing up the coal deep down and digging there for coal. And then when they closed it, or it and one of these areas was the name of Zeche. No? Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's a great monumental uh, symbol for yeah. that. Um, mm -hmm. what, the tower uh, is still there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we want to bring this together because yeah. it's more important to bring this internationality from Berlin, these uh, great minded thinkers mm -hmm. uh, together with also this acting and working and also with this hand idea of handcrafting. Mm -hmm. and. We or um, I think it's super important to have this uh, full symbolic um, locations, just as Brandenburger Tour, where we are located mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and um, use this as a sign and symbol for showing the people that solutions are sometimes and normally always super easy. We just have to yes. see them and understand them. Yes, we don't and, see it, but it is easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And here in Berlin, so many great, uh, uh, so many other uh, great initiatives and organizations located under the Linden here in this mm -hmm. area, uh, such as um, Gates uh, Foundation, um, Gorbachev Foundation, Unidos, and, and many others. And um, I think we as a club of Budapest think that it's uh, time for cooperation and uh, cooperating and time yes, for. Yes. That's what the inspiration idea of Inspiration Day is all about. Exactly, SDG 17 yeah. is partnerships, and it's not mm -hmm. the last, it's the most important, because without partnerships, we are just in our small trunk. We yeah. need this, uh, we, we need to network. To you need just to understand uh, nature again, yeah, if you go in the exactly. woods, uh, under the trees, this is a kind of uh, the world wood web, yeah, the exactly. wood web, and our brain is just a kind of net. Uh, nothing is hierarchy in this way, not as linear. That's exactly. what we're learning. Also, it, it teaches us a very important mm -hmm. lesson you just touched with mm -hmm. saying that the nature is teaching us. I mean, uh, what the nature is teaching us that we have to um, act local, but we have to think global. And that means, or globally, yeah. and that mm -hmm. means that we shouldn't do the German way. It should be the global way. Of course, we can act as a kind of role model, but yes. uh, mm. the green world will only work if we do it unified with a whole yes. global world. I mean, if we look at India, mm. if we look at China, for example, but even if we look and furthermore, if we look in the, the, the developing countries and Africa, we really and urgently, urgently have to find solutions globally where we um, yes. work actively, where we involve them, and mm. where we find also solutions for the needs of these countries. Because what happens there, and without the responsibility of these countries, it's it's. It's uh, it's horrible. Nobody wants to look there. It's thousand kilometers away, and we are very good in uh, mm -hmm. not not looking there because it's no, it's far yeah. enough, <laughs> far enough um, to not watch out. But it's super important to look there because if we don't yes, look yes, there, yes. this will then, then, Like you said, not the German way or whatever way. The borders or the name of Germany or Russia or Italy is invented by humans, not by nature. Exactly. Uh, so the nature sees only one planet. Um, and so that's why also Peter Spiegel, you mentioned, my guest wrote the book Planet We, uh, so that we really understand okay. we talk of one family 
um, to do this. Very interesting uh, topic. Thank you so much. Uh, we could go on and on and on, on, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the time is on. But uh, as you were in Berlin, and we were on the 7th of May, the Inspiration Day, maybe we see um, others there or can uh, somehow right. support each uh, other. Thank you. Thank you very much for your wisdom and uh, your ideas and for the work you are doing and uh, you listener um, I hope you got out of this episode of Inspiration Radio some more ideas how important it is that we connect as future uh, and for the future we created the future is open we decided and that we should be more natural not just normal natural that is the way of living and like we said, sustainability and the love of uncertainty will create a joyful life. So I wish you all the best. Be inspired and to listen to us next week and share. Thank you, Professor Manuel Tennis, and see you somewhere. Thank you. It was a pleasure for me. This was another episode of Winspiration Wisdom and Information to support you getting out of illusions, false identifications, limiting beliefs. We all have the power and potential to be more, do more, have more, give more. Reality is what is possible in the universe and the best is yet to come. If you want to dive deeper into possibilities of creating the extraordinary future, go to inspiration.global or to wolfgangsonnenburg.com. More information and some free downloads like the email program Dream Goals Reality or a copy of the book The Best is Yet to Come can be found on the UK Health Radio website under the Listen on Demand and Presenters section. Join us again next week on The Inspiration Show for more wisdom and information to create your extraordinary future.